What's up? I'm Katie. And I'm Major. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. If you're new here, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're not, thank you for being a part of our family. We hope you enjoy your stay. Today's video, do you know what it is? No. I love this for you. Today's video is five things you should know as to why you shouldn't, should not, absolutely not, never ever give an awesome. What? And I'll be interested to see if you agree with what I wrote or if you don't agree with what I wrote. And I'm not one to agree all the time, so. No, he's not, unfortunately. If they don't think you're going to make them, if they think there's a 2% chance that they might get away with not listening, they're not going to listen. When you say something, make them do it. So if you say sit and they decide to walk off, then have them come back and have them sit down before you let them go and take a break. Aussies tend to play my clients like a fiddle. Like, once they've realized that they can get away with not doing it, there's no turning back and you're spending the rest of that dog's life teaching them that they have to listen every single time. So if you start them off correctly as puppies, they're very well-trained dogs. They just have a little bit of independent thinking to them. With our two Aussies, first impressions are a big deal. So again, make them do the command before letting them go. Absolutely. Aussies are my favorite and my least favorite dog. Let me explain. Aussies with a proper outlet that are getting exercise every day that have structure in their everyday life, that makes the Aussie the best dog ever. An Aussie without an outlet that isn't getting exercised, isn't getting socialized properly, and doesn't have commands and isn't obedient is probably the worst dog ever. Aussies are high energy and intelligent. And just a rule in the dog world is that dogs don't hold on to stress. They're not like a human, like, oh my gosh, I have a lot of pent up energy. In two hours, I'm gonna go burn this energy off once I'm done with work. Dogs are like, oh, I feel a lot of intensity right now. I feel stressed. I need to output it onto something. So if you're not consistent with your dog's training and exercise regimen and mental stimulation, giving your dog lots of mental stimulation, you're going to either have a destructive Aussie or one thing I see that's very common with Aussies is reactivity. They tend to be vocal and they'll start reacting to other dogs on walks and other people. They just get really reactive because they're outputting their stress. I'll say based off of our experience or my experience, when we do walk the dogs, if they haven't necessarily been out in a while, when we go to walk him in the morning, Kobe will definitely get uh, loud and get a little vocal. He's just excited. He's just, he has to get it out somehow, so he just start yelling or something until you start running. As far as Gumbo, if he hasn't been working or anything like that in a while, he might get a little antsy, start like, you know, trying to tear stuff up or running around the house, just doing things he's not supposed to be doing or things that he doesn't usually do. So yeah, it's definitely important to get them walking and everything. Take them outside backyard. Hopefully you got a big backyard. It's not a patio dog at all. Yeah. But they're also not a dog that's going to get worn out by playing fetch in the big backyard today. Yeah, you, you definitely to gotta walk them. I mean, that goes for any dog, though. Mm -hmm. Most dogs, yeah. Can you really quick explain or go in depth on what you mean by hasn't been out in a while? Because I think people will do that and think like, oh, you haven't walked them for two days. Well, it's just like, say if we wake up in the morning, obviously they didn't sleep all night. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's what I mean by hasn't been out in a while. You know, they're ready to go. Like, they have a, a, a morning routine. Like, we do the same thing every single morning. So, if they're used to it, obviously they're waiting on you. Like, what's up? If they have a routine, then they, they usually stick to the routine. They're waiting to see if you're going to stick to the routine. So, he knows that he's going to wake up every morning and, and get that walk in. So, 
he's, he's waiting on you. I just feel like people are like, oh, they have not have been a couple days, but even when we go on like a two hour long walk and do training with them in the morning, by like right now, 6 or 7 p.m., they're like, okay, what, what are we gonna do before bed? But we also take them out like three times a day too, then if not more. So they know they should at least be going out three times a day. And if we get them outside like twice, and they know it's all time for that third time, they're gonna be a little antsy, like what's up? Yeah, exactly. Aussies are herding dogs, which makes them high energy, but they're also protective. So the protectiveness makes them vocal. They're kind of like watchdogs. So if they see something, they're gonna bark and alert you. They want you to know that someone or something is there. And also going off of them being protective, that can lead to aggressiveness when people come in because if you're not setting the expectation of hey you need to be in place when people come in and letting them know that you're okay with that person then i have a lot of Aussie clients who deal with nipping new people that come in or being weird with new animals that come onto their property but fine with the animals out in public so a lot of it is just creating structure and doing dog and animal and human interactions properly in the Aussie home. Based off of our experience, we had Oxer a while back and we went on this cabin trip and he was definitely a security dog, like somebody came onto the property and he definitely alerted us, he got in their face and everything like that. I don't think they're too dangerous per se, you know, like other dogs, I won't mention them, but they definitely will alert you if something's going on, so they're definitely vocal. If they're hungry or something, they'll be vocal. If they want to play outside, Kobu's definitely known for being vocal when he's ready to go outside. Yeah. He'll even bring the ball to you and say, what's up, let's go. And it's interesting because even Gumbo, our like golden retriever like Ozzy, who's the most friendly dog ever, he's great with people. But say somebody is walking up to us on a walk, he'll do a little low growl until we say, hey, sit, look at me. And then we give him the okay to go say hi. So he knows that we're in control of the situation. If we don't acknowledge a new person, he's still even a little skeptical and protective. Aussies are so beautiful because of their coat. It's thick, it's long, it's a beautiful color. But that coat is going to shed and it is going to get all over everything you love. My dog doesn't shed, it's sparkly is what I like to say, but those sparkles get everywhere. So you have to be really on top of grooming. Grooming them is not like a quick bath. It's a bath and a blowout. You have to be really on top of brushing them so they don't get matted. There's a lot that goes into their grooming. And even if they're keeping up with their grooming routine, they're still going to be a bit of a If you want your dog to look good or your Aussie to look good, it's definitely high maintenance. People might say there's other dogs with more high maintenance. Cool, yeah, it might be, but they are relatively high maintenance. I'm one that doesn't like to be full of hair. I don't like hair on me at all. Yet we have a lot of these dogs, and I definitely have to about the the limb brush and stuff like that. Because of Ozzy's double coat, you cannot shave them. Shaving them will damage their double coat, which creates a whole lot of issues in the future after you do shave them. So you just have to deal with it. In the summer, it starts warming up, and in the winter when it starts pulling down, you'll see a lot of shedding because they're switching to their other season coat. Ozzy's are so pretty. A lot of girls, We'll see them on Instagram and be like, that's my dog. A lot of my clients do that. But they are protective and they're skeptical of people. So even though you have this beautiful dog, you're going to constantly have to be advocating for your dog, which is something not a lot of people are comfortable doing until they practice it. What I mean by that is you're gonna go out in public, you're gonna go to Home Depot, and everyone's gonna be like, oh my gosh, look at that dog's eyes. Oh my gosh, look at that dog, I wanna go say hi. And you're gonna say, no, you can't pet my dog. So it sets the owner up to have to say no a lot, especially in public situations, in order for them to have a stable dog. So basically, if you're an introvert and you are bad at confrontation or bad at having people skills, then I don't know if it's a good dog for you because I don't know if you're going to be able to protect your dog as far as like letting him know that he can trust you and not put people that he might be concerned about in his face. Mm-hmm. Right. And I think going off of that, like I'm more of an introvert, I hate confrontation, but one thing that helps me is I always have it in the back of my head, like I'm the only one that can speak English, and if I want my dog to be okay, I need to speak up, and if I think about it from my dog's well-being, then I'm more than willing to speak up, where if I'm like, ah, and hesitate, then I start to overthink it. So advocating early is always really helpful when it comes to saying That was five reasons you should not own an Aussie. Please comment down below what you agreed with and what you did not agree with. I would love to hear your experiences from owning an Aussie, or if you don't own an Aussie and you've just done research, what that has looked like and what's the same and what's different. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we will get back to you guys ASAP. Love you. Bye.